For the past five winters, science crews have been taking flight over the Sierra with a groundbreaking mission in mind. Using infrared radar to map and decode California's snowpack. How much is there, how soon it will melt. A pilot program in a time of climate change aimed at better management of the state's often uncertain water supplies. It's enormously accurate, yeah. Even uh, far exceeding what our expectations were going to be. Of. With, the, with the lasers, we're touching every square meter of snow. So it's wall to wall. All the pixels of that snowpack are, uh, are lit up. Tom Painter is the principal scientist driving what's called the Airborne Snow Observatory developed by the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. It's technology, he says, that was used to search for water on planets like Mars, now with a more Earth-bound purpose. About 80% of what falls onto the state of California comes in the form of snow. Uh, so being able to quantify that from year to year is absolutely key. The Friant Water Authority, which delivers water to a million acres of Central Valley farmland, helps pay for the pilot program, which provides valuable insight into how to manage water supplies and helps growers make key crop decisions. The beauty of this snow survey is that we have a more accurate scientific knowledge of what's existing in, in, the, in, in the freezer. The freezer is the Sierra snowpack, which provides up to a third of the state's water as it melts through the spring and summer months. For decades, the state has performed manual snow surveys, which are limited in scope and accuracy. Nighty. Frank Gerke, who oversees snow surveys for the Department of Water Resources, says the NASA JPL program is a game changer. We are a huge fan. It will, over time, revolutionize how we make our forecasts. It means more efficient operation of reservoirs, hydroelectric plants, and environmental projects like fishery protection. And in a time of tremendous fire destruction, it can even help agencies like CAL FIRE by pinpointing fire hazards, such as dead trees. To have an idea of how the fires are going to burn and being able to identify those areas can be very important when it comes to not only managing fire suppression, but even during the event, having up-to-date vegetation, high-quality vegetation information. Gerke and others want to see the program expanded to cover the entire Sierra Nevada range. Right now it covers about a third. But who should pay for the expansion? We would rather have it be property of the state of California and the public than have it be handed off and collected by a private entity and not available for use. Beering says there's a clear case for the state to pick up the bill in 2019 and going forward given the public benefits involved to avoid floods, to ease drought effects, to manage fire dangers. You can't manage what you don't measure. Without a clear picture provided by this NASA program, supporters say, California's ability to manage its own future remains as unpredictable as the snowfall itself.